Okay, what I've got here is um, a master shutter type lock, um, small container looking thing. Uh, show you the locks working. Again, master. Um, I made a bump key from the spare key for this. As you can see, I missed the end there slightly and messed it up, but it did still bump the lock with one grommet and uh, four two milli washers. Um, obviously, you can't really shim these with padlock shims. Uh, couldn't find any other obvious bypass. Uh, pit gun probably open it, but I didn't really go there. Uh, single pin picking is all right, but it took a while. Um, quickest method seemed to be the raking, and the snake rake seemed the most effective. Snake and the saw rake were the most effective too. Uh, we're going to try it with the snake rake. What I tend to do as well as I'm doing this is gently move the tension on and off almost bouncing the tension wrench on these um, if the lock goes to one o'clock like it's done there just turn it back and reset it, there's no point raking it in that one o'clock position because it's not going to do a thing for you very difficult at handling for this Almost gone there, but almost isn't good enough. There you go. Took longer than I did because I had a few practices before, and and I I did it a lot quicker than that. But at arm's length, it is a little bit harder. But there you go, snake rake. That's the one to go for for these smaller shorter container type looking locks